I'd like to take a moment and point out how appropriate my shirt is today. Hello, hello, how are you? I'm Echo. So I've had a fairly long internet life as far as internet lives go. I am technically older than the internet. And I take great pride in this because when I get really old, I'm gonna get to brag about that. I'm gonna get to be like, when I was born, there was no internet. So the internet as a thing, I wanna say was developed in like the 60s. But in terms of the thing that we now consider to be the internet, the World Wide Web was released for the public in August of 1991. And I happen to be born in February of 1991, meaning that I am half a year older than the publicly accessible internet. The internet and I are the same age. This year, the internet internet and I are 26 years old. Yes, 26. I like the fact that the internet and I are the same age. We grew up together. I could marry the internet and it would be completely acceptable. The internet is just kind of going through its weird 20s right now where it's trying to figure itself out. I feel like everyone uh, nowadays has a given name and a chosen name. For example, my name is Echo Gillette and my internet name is Echo is Weird. However, Echo is Weird is not the only prominent internet name that I've ever had. And this is not my first internet persona. In this video, you're gonna learn things about me that you probably never wanted to know. For starters, I was super obsessed with Japan and Japanese culture and anime and manga. So I wanted my username to be Red Kitten in Japanese. I was a little tiny weeaboo. So essentially what I did is I plugged Red and Kitten into an English to Japanese translator and then I put them together, not realizing that the grammar was completely wrong. However, it happened to work out that I could just change it to AKA Koneko or also known as Koneko or Aka Koneko. I also liked Neko because it secretly had Echo in it. Anyway, when the internet and I were wee young children, I used to get on three sites probably the most. RuneScape, Neopets, and Gaia Online. Also a bit of deviant art, but not that much. My RuneScape account is pretty much gone. However, there are still some remnants of my Neopets and my Gaia Online account. So today I figured we could go through some of what is left of my past life on the internet. Lots of shame. In terms of my YouTube accounts, I have had an account since 2006. The first video that I ever uploaded to the internet was in 2007. It's a legacy account, but I'd never really count that as being as influential as something like deviant art and Neopets. When it came to YouTube, it was mostly consuming content mostly AMVs. The majority of the content that I put out on the internet was actually on Neopets in the form of a thing called screenies. Screenies are essentially screen cap comics on Neopets. I personally think that Neopets is the reason that I am capable of having YouTube as a job. Neopets conditioned me to be able to run a YouTube channel. Here's why. So the entire point of Neopets is that you have these like virtual pets that you get to take care of. As you can see, mine are dying. And for every Neopet that you have, you also get this thing called a pet page, which is essentially just a blank HTML page that you can do whatever you want with. So because a pet page was just a blank HTML, HTML page, what you would have to do is upload your images somewhere else and then display them via HTML. It might sound complicated, but this is like really basic stuff. So many people in their 20s learned how to code because of Neopets and MySpace layouts. So you would play Neopets and be going about your average day, and then if something interesting happened, you could take a screen cap and then draw a comic over it. And I used to do this almost every single day to the point where I was getting about 300 people a day looking at my page. And back in the days of baby internet, that was a lot especially for a 13 year old. All of the image links to my profile page have been completely severed because I haven't updated this in years. You can see here at the bottom of my profile, I have a trophy that says Neopian Times 8 time champion. The Neopian Times was a Neopets newspaper and I managed to get eight comics in the Neopian Times. See, this is the Neopian Times and it is permanently in their archive that I have stuff published on this website. On all the comics that I had published in the Neopian Times, I would always put a note that said, hey, I have more comics on my pet pages to try and draw in traffic. Neopets freaking conditioned me to be able to do YouTube. I drew all of this in paint. I was a very creative child when it came to the internet. My main Neopet was like this red cat creature called Hanahoseki and my first internet persona was a girl with a ponytail, a red hoodie, a purple hat, and cat ears. So this is essentially how a screenie would work. Essentially a random event would pop up and you would screen cap it and then you would draw little comics around it. Because you only had one pet page it would just kind of end up this never ending stream of images and you'd have to scroll all the way down to the bottom to see the new ones. It was a running gag in my comics that the island mystic hated me. The island mystic used to be a fortune teller who would just tell you random garbage that essentially meant nothing. But it was a free thing that you could do on Neopets so I tried to use it as often as I could to make comics. When I first started doing this I had my inbox open so sometimes I would get 
like fan letters in my mail. So I would turn those into screenies until eventually my screenies got so popular that I had to close my inbox. That was a proud day for me. OMG. When I was on Neopets, the equals three thing was like my thing. It was part of my branding and it was the Neko smile. Granted, lots of people did that, but I was one of them. So each of my pets kind of represented a certain part of my personality. In these comics, Han Hoseki was like my voice of reason. Ukoricho was my sense of adventure and Mizutambo was my curiosity. And those were the parts that they played in my comics. I even had fan links so that people who liked my comics could link back to them on their pet pages. Dude, I had this so down. Can you feel the anime? Oh my god, some of the jokes in these are so bad. This image is so cute. This is who I used to be on the internet. Another constant gag that ran throughout the entire series was that my character was incredibly afraid of llamas, partially because at a point, Hanna Hoseki actually was turned into a llama. Oh, here's where it happened. On Neopets, the llama creatures were called Gnorboos, and thus began the forever running joke of Neko being terrified of llamas. Llamas were really popular in the early internet days. That's what the cat creature was called. It's called a walkie. So much fan mail. Oh, I love fan mail. I used to even get creative with page errors. Okay, so this is essentially why I quit Neopets. Because I grew up really poor and we didn't have a computer, the only way that I could really access Neopets on a regular basis was to go to the library. But because the library's computers were slightly older and slower, after they updated the format of Neopets, the pages wouldn't load anymore, and it actually drove me off the site. That's the thing that made me quit Neopets loading. And then from here, I'm gonna show you what's left of my Gaia Online account. So essentially the main point of Gaia is that you get this little naked chibi avatar and then you buy all these little customizable things and you dress it up and make it look however you want. Now the art scene on Gaia was huge. I used to get so much gold for commission work. And I used to advertise all of my commissions on my main page, but unfortunately, Photo Bucket has severed all of my links. So this is what's left of it. So this is my Gaia account. Ignore all the shattered links from Photo Bucket, I will show you those in a moment. Unfortunately, someone stole my username, so I had to add a bunch of random underscores. Even then, I had a solid obsession with black and red. Oh yeah? Well, I don't like your pants. That was a clever snapback in 2007. The last time I logged in was in 2012, and I registered in 2006. Oh yeah. There's the equal three thing again. Look at my wish list. Aww. People saying they like my art. Unfortunately, since all of my links have been severed here, I need to show them to you on another site. So for now, let's just go poke around my photo bucket account. As you can see, it's completely empty. Very covered in ads now. Photo bucket, my dear friend. So I actually had two photo bucket accounts, but this was one of my first ones. And I vaguely remember it completely filling up, which is why I had to make the second one. So I want to start by going through a couple of the Neopets images that I have on this account. Avatar Adventures. Avatar Adventures was a mini screeny series that I started because all of the avatars on Neopets were preset, so I wanted to try and make a comic for each one. Oh, the comic sounds. I was gone on vacation. This is the thing that I made for when I was gone. I even had absentee notices. Let's see what other folders we've got on here. Oh, these were some of my screen awards. Also, my character had yellow eyes. I forgot to mention that. Sometimes there would be these weird customization things that would circulate around the internet, and I would always try and make them match my character. So that's what this monstrosity is. I want to say a fan actually made this one for me, which is so sweet. I've been getting fan art since I was like 15. This is one that was definitely sent to me by a fan. And then here I actually changed the background for fall. I would do that sometimes. I want you all to appreciate how close I was to being a furry. I had an anthro character. Let's go less. So this was an art commission that I did. Uh, my friend wanted to be half box. So I drew a cute picture of her holding her tail. Animated backgrounds with sparkles and butterflies early internet days. Now we're gonna explore the Gaia section of my photo bucket. Also, this word, I could be saying it wrong. I'm just gonna put that out there. I probably am. But this is how I grew up saying it because no one ever read it to me. So this is the banner that was actually at the top of my page right here before photo bucket severed the links. Here is one of the first sample images that I made. This is my avatar next to a drawing that I did of that avatar to show people what I could do. This was essentially a commission sample. This was a couple's commission that I did. I severely undercharged for for my commissions, which is why I was always so busy. Don't do that, man. Don't undercharge for commissions. This was another commission, another commission, and another commission. I was so fancy, and now I'm all lame. I need to get back into Gaia because I miss doing these commissions. This was one of the first commissions that I did that had no base image. Miss Brownie, this one's cute. I was really happy with this one. This is another commission sample. I made this of my own avatar. One of my first anime drawings ever. Do you see this? Do you see what's on here? Like, look at this. I used to do anthro commissions on Gaia. Looking back on it, I wouldn't have classified it as that, but now that I'm like 
viewing with hindsight, I totally used to do anthro commissions online. This was the one that I was working on just before I quit, so I never actually got to finish coloring it. I think that's all of them. One last thing I do want to poke around a little bit is DeviantArt, because I uploaded a lot of stuff there, but I feel like I didn't do that much on DeviantArt. At least I wasn't as into the community as much as I probably should have been. I updated my photo a long time ago, but um, yeah. Akako Neko, it's still there. I've been a deviant for 10 years. I do have two completed comics on here, like full stories, 25 page minimum, like little comic books that you can go on here and read. There's Sandwich, The Hideous Hideous Taco, and there's Bob because I wanted to name the comic Bob. This comic actually won me a statewide competition and I got a gaming console out of it. Oh yes, regular comic artist right here. I also had this thing that was the massive upload project because I was trying to upload all of my drawings to the internet and I just couldn't because it was so many. Also, all of the Chewy Bunny comics are on my DeviantArt, so if you wanted decent scans of those, they're up for download. This one was like my pride and joy for the longest time. This was a Naruto fan art that I made when I was going to high school. I don't really have time to go through all of these. If you want to go look through my deviant art, that's totally cool. You can go do that. I will put links to all of this stuff down in the description. It's very hot in here. When I film, I have to turn off the air conditioning and I live in Phoenix, but otherwise it messes with my audio, so I have no choice. But essentially, yes, this is who I was on the internet before I became Echo is Weird. I was AKA Koneko. So if there's any person out there who used to know me by that name, this is me now. This is what I do. Also, heads up, I'm gonna be at Summer in the City this year, so if you see me, please come up and say hi. We'll have a grand old fun time. It'll be great. Also, Gishwas is coming, so prepare yourself for the chaos. If you've made it all the way to the end of the video, then I would like to give you 500 awesome points to apologize for my internet past life. If you would like an internet shirt, by the way, you can buy them on my store. I made this for a skit that I was supposed to film like two years ago and then never filmed it, but I got a really cool shirt out of it, so that's fun. It's freaking hot right now. I'm gonna go turn the air conditioning back on because I am so shy. Shiny. But I think that's everything. I hope you have an awesome life and stuff, and I will see you later. Bye. Ooh, my hair feels nice today. It's like a pillow on my head. You and your tree trimming. You have to trim the trees now.